Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is my kitchen, that's my bathroom, and my bathroom's in my kitchen, which is weird, but we have a kitchen bathroom. All right, moving on. This is where the bathroom is actually gonna be. So all this has gotta get moved over. This has gotta get moved over down here. Obviously that's gonna move over. The stove will get put into this place. This will all be gone. Obviously I gotta move, open up the floor, concrete, whatever. That's gonna get moved. This will become the bathroom area for, uh, what do you call it, uh, for your sink. You have his and hers. I'm not sure why you need it so big, but I got a deal on it. It was free, so we're going to go with that. And then this is where the shower and the uh, other appliance will be, the toilet. Um, now, this leaves me with some limited space because I want the, um, the door to come across this way for the laundry room. <clears throat> and... Uh, that means I either need to get a stacker or make my own stacker, which leaves me to this area. So obviously the washer is always on the bottom and uh, then you have your dryer. My theory is this is removable. You can see how it's movable. It is probably removable. So I think if I just extend the wires, I can bring it forward and then give access to it. Let's see. there so if i just extend those wires i could bring this to the front so it'll look something like this but it'll be more closer to the front um i can put some sort of handle on the front of this this is plastic so i can drill into that put a handle on the front of here so we don't have to worry about the grab handles and you can change the door these hinges are reversible like on many of them so this can be put up to here. We did that video earlier. That way it opens up this way. It was really funny because mom kept opening it up this way and meanwhile, it opened up this way. So now we can just stretch these cables. It won't take too much either. So I just press here, I pull there. And that should just, oh, pops out the other way. There we go, see? So this could be easily mounted like that nice we just have to stretch like lengthen these cables out make sure you wire them through so we've cut these and stretch them out one at a time no problem <clears throat> and then we have a front face for the for the dryer oh it's dusty and then we can lift this up to that level and then this would sit underneath it we can make our own stacker. I'm liking this. And then that saves me some room to uh, put the, the heater, the water heater. And then we have our water softener, which still needs to be hooked up. I can also get a smaller version of this. That's an all in one, just have one unit. That being said, we got some more planning to do, but I'm liking it. Now, many of you might say, before I get off of here, you still have this. That is correct. What I would probably like, I'll drop it on the ground and break it, do is I would cut this off and it would just be a pass through. I gotta take a look at the mechanics of it before I do that. And then I would have another filter, an inline filter, before it goes outside. And there's one outside as well, so there's lots of catches. But yeah, this could work. Thanks for watching, guys. If any questions, comments, concerns, if you any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. There will be a finishing video for this. This is just kind of a theory. So making my own laundry stacker in theory. Thanks for watching. Peace.